Welcome in on another wonderful Friday and another edition of the Martin Morning Report. Beautiful logo, it's back and a little bit crumpled up by the kids, but it's back and it's looking beautiful. And it's time, once again, on this Friday, March 1st, for five fast things. I had to find it there for a second. We're gonna start, as we always do, with the... Shoot. Oh, there we go. See me in my pajama pants. About to head to Walmart. Performance of the day. It's Derek Quinlan from Maryville. Last night, he scored 18 points and was a key part in helping the Maryville Spoop Hounds advance on in district play. Maryville actually had their first postseason game of the postseason just last night. And it was a victorious one over Chillicothe. Again, Derek Quinlan, great name, great basketball player, great athlete as a whole, and a performance of the day. Also, Peyton McCollum added 15 points, again, onto a district championship game are the Maryville Spoof Hounds. All right, moving on to number two. The Heelan girls had their season come to an end of the hands of Waverly Shellrock, and just the only way Waverly Shellrock loves it in a 41-37 four brawl defensive slugfest yesterday in Des Moines. Melina Snoozy did have 15 points, and she is a stud, by the way, for Heelan. She has an unbelievable future ahead of her. I'm not just talking about the high school level either. But Waverly Shellrock on to the final. And up next for them is Clear Creek Amana. Number three, other championships are set there in Des Moines. Esterville Lincoln Central and Solon will play for a Class 3A championship later today. And Johnston Dowling Catholic will also meet in the Class 5A state championship game. On to number four, 12 more quarterfinals in girls basketball in Nebraska. And I'm going to list off the 12 winners in a very, very fast manner. So for those of you who listen and subscribe to the UFR podcast and turn it up two times speed like I do, this is going to be like eight times speed. Are you ready? The 12 quarterfinal winners in Nebraska girls yesterday, Scott Kelly, Grand East, Elko North, Beatrice, Ligon, Christian Bridgeport, Sydney, Grand Island, Central Catholic, Pender, St. Mary's, Guardian Angel, Central Catholic, and Southern Valley. Got it? Got it? Good. All right, that is number four. Number five, former KMA Lander continuing to do big things. Noah Rigatuso, the Lewis Central alum, now at Baker in Kansas. I was once told Baker in Kansas is the greatest NAII school in all of the history. That was also by somebody who loves Kansas more than anything in the world. The state of Kansas, that is, not the University of. More of a K-State guy, actually. Let's go. Rigatuso honored by the Heart of America Athletic Conference. First team all-conference yesterday, 16.8 points, 6.3 boards, 1.7 assists, 1.1 steals per game for Rigatuso. By the way, 6'6". Six, six. I don't know if he, he was probably like 6'4". I mean, he was a long, lanky kid, but he just keeps on growing. And Baker is benefiting from that as he is a first team all-heart. Those are the five fast things. Today, coverage from four state games for KMA Sports, including St. Albert, North Lynn, state semifinal. I'm going to get out of these pajama pants here in just a little bit, get into some, some real radio-type clothes, and head off to Des Moines for North Lynn, St. Albert, semifinal, KMA FM 99.1, starts at 1.30 today. Plus, Platte Valley girls will host Pattonsburg at 6 tonight in the state quarterfinal. Ethan Hewitt has coverage from that one there in Conception Junction. Then there are two semifinals that Trevor Mader will be at in Nebraska and Lincoln. It is Elwood Murdoch against Crofton in C2 at 315, and then Falls City Sacred Heart against Why Not in D2 at 745. Trevor Mader's home away from home, the Devaney Sports Center. That's your Martin Morning Report. This is a Friday. I will not likely have a Martin Morning Report tomorrow. We'll talk with you on Monday. Have a great weekend, friends and foes alike.